morning. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Coming together as God's family with confidence, let us ask the Father's forgiveness, who is full of gentleness and compassion. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, and what I have done, what I have failed to do, to my fault, to my fault, to my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. And Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. <clears throat> O oh God, strength of those who hope in you, grace to hear our pleas. And since without you mortal frailty can do nothing, grant us always the help of your grace, that in following your commands, we may please you by our resolve and our deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Yeah. 
Thank you. Hearken to and uh, listen to my groaning. Hearken to my words, O Lord, attend to my sighing. Heed my call for help, my King and my God. Lord, listen to my groaning. At dawn, I bring my plea expectantly before you. For you, O God, delight not in wickedness. No evil man remains with you. The arrogant may not stand in your sight. Lord, listen to my groaning. You hate all evildoers. You destroy all who speak falsehood. The bloodthirsty and the deceitful, the Lord abhors. Lord, listen to my groaning. you a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew <clears throat> she has said to his disciples you have heard that it was said an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth but I say to you offer no resistance to one who is evil when someone strikes you on your right cheek turn the other one to him as well if anyone wants to go to law with you over your tunic, hand him your cloak as well. Should anyone press you into service for one mile, go with him for two miles. Give to the one who asks of you, and do not turn your back on the one who wants to borrow. The Gospel of the Lord. We do not like to hear people brag about themselves. We judge them to be very conceited people. St. Paul is speaking very frankly to the Corinthians about himself, especially about all the experience he suffered. His purpose is not to inflate his own ego, but to defend his apostolic ministry. The problem was that certain unnamed individuals are questioning Paul's authority and um, maligning his way, his role as a true apostle. These people were false teachers who were attempted to turn Paul's converts away from a true faith. As we hear from Paul's own words, there's no doubt that he had a genuine love for Christ and for the Corinthians. In the gospel, as part of the Sermon on the Mount, Jesus urging us to love our enemies. His teaching was complete contrary to the law of retaliation, which is an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth, as they were so familiar with. Jesus explains why his love of our enemies is so important. He says it is a proof that we are really children of the Heavenly Father, who lets the sun shine and, rain, and the rain fall on both the good and the bad, the just and the unjust. So loving our friends, those whom we naturally love, those who do good to us is an easy thing to do, proves nothing of our Christian attitude. Christ is not saying that loving people who are dear to us is not real love. The real proof is loving those who are not attractive to us, those whom we find it difficult to love, those who are always seem to be hurting us, those who never show us any appreciation. It is here that we show our love which is finally based on a real love of God. So when we are confronted by such people, we need to ask the Lord to help us to live our great commandment to be able to say, as Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they do. As we prepare for the Eucharist, let us pray for guidance of the Holy Spirit to respond, not to react when we are wronged in some way. Let us ask Jesus to show us how to be better people.
With confidence in God's mercy and love, we present our needs and needs of our nation, the needs of our world, to our loving Father. For the gift of unity in the church, that God's laws of love and forgiveness may be on our minds and written upon our hearts. We pray <clears throat> to the Lord. <clears throat> for peace in our hearts, in our homes, and in our world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have asked for our prayers, and for those in special need of prayer, that Jesus may bring comfort, strength, and healing to their lives. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are sick and suffering, that they may find comfort and healing. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Philip M. LaSalle, MD, whom we remember in a special way during this Mass. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions of our parish prayer line and for the intentions in the parish prayer boxes. We pray to the Lord. Amen. Let us pray, loving God, we offer all these prayers to your Son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth, work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. In the midst of this war and one, we come to share in the divinity of Christ, some of himself to share in our humanity. So, Lord God of all creation, but through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. In humble spirit, kind of heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and our sacrifice in your, in your sight be pleasing to you, O Lord God. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that this sacrifice to be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O oh God, when the offerings presented here provide for the twofold needs of human nature, nourishing us with food, renewing us with your sacrament, grant we pray that the sustenance they provide may not fail us, fail us in body or spirit, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him, with great goodness, you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, <clears throat> all the redeemed praise you, all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore we too extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration, we acclaim, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna, highest, blessed.
Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith, we proclaim the death of the Lord and profess the resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and a chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Frank, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also <clears throat> our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them in the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. And with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, St. Joseph, Spouse, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who please you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and form of divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, and by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Peace the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Let us be. <clears throat> you see in your body and blood, Lord Jesus Christ, and I've been the judge of the nation, but through your love and mercy, protect your body and body, the healing God. <clears throat> Behold the Lamb of God. Behold them who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you send under my roof. But only say the word, 
and my soul shall be healed by the Christ who will see eternal life.
Let us pray. At this reception of your Holy Communion, O Lord, <clears throat> foreshadows the union of the faithful in you, so we may it bring about unity in your church through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. <clears throat> may the bless Almighty God, Father, Son, Holy Spirit come upon you and remain with you forever. May us and us go in peace to love and serve the Lord and one another. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our light, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, O banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning, weakness, valley of tears. To our men, most grace, advocate the nice and mercy towards us. And after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thine, Jesus. O finally, O love, and O sweet Virgin Mary. Pray for us, the Holy Mother of God. Have a good day, everyone. <clears throat>